Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in and we welcome each and every one of you for joining us today for our talk entitled Find Your Pathway via New Media. Now my name is Vivian, I'm a Public Relations Lecturer with the Faculty of Communication and Creative Industry in Thai UC. Now joining me today, I have my friend and also my colleague uh, whom I'll let uh, him introduce himself to all of you. Hi everyone, nice to meet you all. So I'm Wayne and I'm a lecturer for broadcasting here in Thai UC. We are both extremely grateful to be here today to just share with each and every one of you on topics pertaining to, for example, what is public relation, what is broadcasting, alongside with its implication to new media. Now, besides that, we will also have two segments. Where number one, we'll have one segment where we'll be inviting two of our students, one from broadcasting and one from public relations, to share with us some of their experiences as a student in high UC. Besides that, we also have another segment where we'll be inviting a couple of industrial experts who are working in the PR and the broadcasting industry to give us some insight and sharing to how is it like working in the industry. Now, we truly hope that this talk and this sharing session with all of you will be something very insightful that you can also gain some value to it. Now, Wayne, would you mind sharing to our audience to start things off? What is broadcasting actually about? So, Broadcasting is a branch of communication that uses video and audio content on a various platforms that allow the people in this field have the power of speaking to millions of people simultaneously. That's very interesting, way. Right? So, from this course broadcasting, what can students actually look forward to studying broadcasting? So, if you are someone that enjoys creative filming, photography, video editing, and get involved with new media, so this is the program for you. Say, for example, students are required to create broadcasts and film projects by utilizing single camera and multi camera techniques. Students will develop an understanding in terminologies of camera angles, shot and movement, framing, and compositions. A part of that, students will go through the three production phases, namely pre production, production, and post production, to produce their work. So, students will be trained on their leadership skills, teamwork, responsibilities throughout the filming process. So, the film that produced by students will be showcasing at social media through the live streaming methodology. So, which means students will have an opportunity to learn on how to deal with the new media with their own production. So, Pevan, Maybe you want to do some explanation to our audience, what is new media? Thanks, Wayne. Now, that's a very great question to what is new media. Now, new media essentially is a means of communication that uses what we call digital technologies, right? So what is digital technologies? Digital technology can come in many forms, such as the internet, or even through social media, Google search and all that. So things like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, WhatsApp, all of these can be also considered a means of new media to communicate to what we call a mass audience. Now, definitely it's undeniable that we have seen the rise of new media today and it has grown tremendously. Take for example, currently this CMCO period that we are going through or previously, a couple of months ago, we had uh, MCO, right? So, we can see that there is that rise of new media usage right? through things such as cashless payment, online delivery, social media reviews and all of these things. So, we see that social new media is something that is very fundamentally embedded to uh, our usage on a daily basis. So Wayne, if you don't mind sharing to our audience, uh, how do you think new media has actually impacted broadcasting? Sure, Bevan. So the growth of new media plays a great role in broadcasting. So we are in the new media landscape, whereas video and audio are not only the leading trends. So the internet has triggered the rise of new media to spark the cybersphere, such as we heard before about the IPTV, we heard before about the live streaming, virtual events, web video that allow two-way communications. So this has changed the broadcasting from conventional to the new media platform. So literally speaking, their path after graduation is much more wider. The content that they produce will possibly broadcast at new media platform, which is not only limited to traditional broadcasting industries such as TV or radio station. So Bevan, I've spoken and shown about broadcasting. Can you share with our audience what is public relations about? Thank you, Wayne. So, public relations essentially acts as a middleman between uh, an organization together with its public. Now, here essentially seeks to build that trust 
and the relationship between the company and public. Now, when it comes to uh, PR perspective for company, things like brand, reputation, image are all very important for a company and it is a PR's role to strengthen and to maintain that. Now, this can be accomplished through a number of means or ways, for example, through social media, through events, media relations, publicity, and so on. Now, as you can may ask, why is relationship so important then? Now, because the more trust that you have, the more likely you are to buy or to support you know, a particular brand or a, a company. So that's the reason why uh, you know, trust and relationship is very, very important in PR. So what can students learn in this course, you may ask? For students, you may learn uh, some things like, such as what is media relations. You will learn also to how to plan and how to organize the event. You will learn to brush up on your writing. You will learn things like how to write you know, uh, press, press releases. You know, what are the fundamentals with news articles, things like that. So things like this are what you will learn in this course and many more. So uh, what can students look forward to studying public relations? Great, great way. So, if you are someone okay that loves writing or you have a flair in writing, now PR is definitely a course for you. Besides that, if you are someone who also enjoys meeting people, right, you enjoy you know building relationships, you enjoy maybe you know being outdoor, you enjoy running an event and can make this is the program for you because these are things that you will learn in this course. Wow, this sounds interesting, Bevan. So, Bevan, can you share with our audience how has new media changed PR? Great question, mate. Now, as I spoke a little bit of what is new media just now, now let us, let us put it into the perspective of public relation, right, in PR perspective. Now, new media has definitely changed PR, especially in the way how we communicate, or in a company's perspective, how brands communicate with their consumers. Now, if you think about it, even 10, 15, 20 years ago, right, communication through the media used to be very one-dimensional, used to be very one-way. Right? We can think about it, in the past, communication used to be through means such as TV, newspaper, radio. But today, now when we look at media today, this has changed so much. So this has forced PR practitioners to also adapt. You know, to using new media and how we communicate. Now, for example, we can think, I know I mentioned uh, image uh, and reputation are very important for brands. Now, we can see this, you know, uh, very evident when we go online. We see every brand or every company having a social media account, be it on Instagram, on Facebook, Twitter, you see their presence there. Now, this is one way of what we call engaging with consumers building that sort of two-way communication, building transparency and also engagement with its consumers. So this has is one of the many ways that a new media actually has impacted and changed uh, public relations in the way we communicate with one another. So that's very interesting. So Bevan, so do you have any exciting students' portfolio and activities to show our audience? Show it. Now, unfortunately, due to this current CMCO period that we are are currently facing, we can't really bring our audience to tour our campus to show them, you know, what are the actual events or activities that we have. Now, don't worry, uh, we'll actually leave a link on the screen here. That link will bring you to our Faculty of Communication and Creative Industries webpage where you can actually check out all of the recent and previous uh, events and activities that our students have organized. So you can check them out. Now, uh, in the meantime, we will actually be showing you some clips or images of a recent PR event that our students had organized called Fantastic. So we hope that you will enjoy and you know it will you know give you some insight lah, basically. So Thanks, Bevan. So, for your information, all of you are welcome to visit the hyperlink that shows on screen. So, you can go through other courses portfolios such as Media Studies, Journalism, Graphic Design, Multimedia Design, and much more.
So, hey everyone, uh, I'm Yijin, or you could call me James as well, and I'm a broadcasting student in Taiyuci. Basically, in broadcasting subjects, uh, we would probably uh, learn things, uh, focus uh, skills more towards uh, TV productions, video and audio productions. Most of the time, there will be practical class that will give us the hands-on uh, uh, lesson, hands-on uh, activities. Of, and even uh, during our assignments, we need to present our film or own audios works as well. Uh, in the broadcasting, you having the practical works, and you also can send your works to competitions as well. All this could really help you in the practical production skill. Back in two thousand nineteen, uh, I was having these opportunities to join the Taylor University Film Festival. So I submit this uh, video in and. I am lucky to get the awards of Best Director. In the world of the new media, basically uh, us as a students having uh, our chance and having the rights to expose ourselves. So right now we have the YouTube, Facebook and Instagram, all sorts of so a social media platform that we could upload our student film uh, for our future portfolio perhaps and to share out to your friends. And at the same time, your friends could comment back, giving the feedbacks how your film is, whether it's good or bad. Besides that, there are more open communities online. So you could join uh, people that have uh, same hobbies. So you guys could exchange knowledge and improve together and stay passionate uh, in the same hobby as well. Students nowadays, they should uh, updates their knowledge more often uh, and know what is new and popul uh, popular nowadays so they could make fresh and eye-catching content. I think the most memorable experience I had was during Diploma where we uh, we were making a sort of a final so, uh, short films. We have planned out a four-day shooting straight and basically every day is kind of uh, up to 4 a.m. in the morning. Something challenging, uh, we talk about the production design, we, how we design the horror scene with blood splashing all on the floor and on the wall, how we testing out the new equipment to giving out the cinematic looks of the short film. Yeah, besides our own short films, pe other people are also doing their own short film and we are organizing the public screening as well. Everyone is doing their own parts. The competitions and the passions that we have is the most memorable one. Basically, in broadcasting subjects, um, I would say you have to try everything. There are many things you can discover in broadcasting. You could try to be a director, a producer, a photographer, or even uh, put yourself in front of the camera and speak more. Because only if you try, you will know where you will be in the future. Yeah, that's my tip, sir. Hi guys, uh, I'm Jasmine and I'm a student of public relations here in Taiyusi. Recently, I just completed um, my diploma in public relations and I'm pursuing my degree very soon. Uh, in this program, we are exposed to courses such as Introduction to Mass Communications, Public Relations, and Mass Media Related Subjects. And there are also IT and Photography um, Related Subjects, where we learned how to present um, good visual communication content. Now, as we progress through the second year, um, there are subjects specified in Human Behaviour, Persuasion Skills, and laws and policies of the country as well. Not to, um, not to forget, we have opportunity to organize an on-ground event in the university. 
I personally think it would be、um, a great idea if students can work on writing and communication skills, especially when we talk about new media being in the picture now.、Um, we can get familiarized with the social media platforms. Such as doing blogging and even hosting live shows on these platforms. So it is very important to get、um, a lot of exposure、um, on the current news, on what's um, trending, um, so we know what's happening in and out of the country. Personally, I enjoyed this semester where we got to. Um, organize a carnival and fundraising event in the uni. So we started everything from scratch,、um, from the beginning of planning stage until the execution stage, with a team of about 150 PR students, with two advisors,、uh, who are Miss Jo and Mr. Bevan yourself. Just recently, I completed my internship training program,、um, which allowed me to gain experience in the working industry. So I've learned how to communicate、um, effectively and to work professionally、um, in this industry, in this agency. I was trained、um, to do strategic planning, such as idea development for campaigns and also events. Not to mention that、um, I get to produce、um, written and also visual contents as well, such as press materials. So overall, I would say、um, this internship. Experience、um, made me felt more equipped, and I got an insight of the roles and responsibilities of a public relations practitioner. So, as a PR student, my advice to you is、um, to always push yourself to the limit. As we communicate with different peoples、uh, in the industry, so it is very important to learn how to adapt to your environment,、um, to the surrounding, and not to forget that. Being social media smart is very important too. So you can always keep up with the current trends, which will eventually help you produce work which are far more creative.、Um, whether it's in regards、um, to social media engagements or even、um, media relations work, yeah, that's it for me. Thank you. Hello, hi, hi everyone.、Uh, my name is Mark Lee. I'm a film director and、uh, contemporary fine artist. So basically, I direct films and commercials. I do write as well and、uh, produce commercials and、uh, feature films and documentaries. And、uh, I do paintings as well. Film director, you basically have to tell stories,、uh, even、uh, in all kinds of genre, from documentary commercials. And、uh, feature films. So,、uh, film director's responsibility is actually to portray words to its best into visual. So, yes, so it's basically storytelling. That is the most important part for a film director, and also managing a creative team at the same time. The most important thing、um, for students to actually to step out into this industry is not about the skill first, but the attitude itself. So, to have a good attitude, a、uh, positive and Uh, willing to learn and、uh, enthusiastic、um, kind of、uh, attitude is very essential to actually step into this industry. Even us, we have to learn about new things and、uh, to learn from old mistakes to improve to a better quality work in、uh, in our future as well. We do learn every day as well. So to have a positive attitude is very essential to actually to be in this industry. Skills when we're talking about skills. As a film director, if you want to become a film director, you need to how to convey a story to its best into and to visualize things from words to visual. How you communicate with your team, how you communicate with your artists, how you communicate with your、uh, actors and talents. That is very important because they will actually bring out the story to upper level. So communication skills is very important. There are a lot of、uh, new platforms coming up uh, recently, uh, other than the conventional media, which is the TV and the big screens. Not only that we can watch it through the big screens, but also platform online platforms like Netflix, iFlix, or whatever that is that is、uh, available in the internet. So it's actually a better trend to actually people can stay at home to actually enjoy the entertainment at home with、uh, channel filled with、um, all sorts of movie and genres or whatever. So as I say, the trend is moving very fast, and、uh, you see, Netflix has been 
uploading like so many different kind of movies every day from documentaries, feature film series, whatever it is. It's a lot of selection for other people. So at this kind of time, cinemas are all closed down. So I should say that this kind of uh, digital platforms are very convenient for audiences. So yes, and it also keeps the entertainment industry um, going as well at the same time. Hi, I'm Jeremy. I'm a direct public relations executive at Quattro Communications. I graduated at Thai UC with a bachelor's in uh, public relations back in 2017. Uh, that was after enrolling myself in diploma in uh, public relations in 2013. Yeah. I'm actually uh, just two months shy of being my third year in uh, EPR agency. I've handled claims from the aviation, oil and gas, and tech and several tech industries. Uh, among my responsibilities are to report happenings that are taking place both locally and globally, uh, to do media relations such as uh, writing media invites, interview pictures, uh, news release, and uh, writing with media for events. Um, besides that, I've also created uh, media and uh, launch events, and one of my favorite was uh, actually organize a company trip. <laughs> to be honest, I would say creating media and uh, media launch events, those would be my favorite. I mean, because at the end of the day, you get to see how satisfied uh, the people are coming in, your clients are satisfied. Uh, so th th that that itself is really wonderful to see. Uh, from, from having nothing to having something at the end of the day, that that's really satisfying. But I also want to not discount that the importance of media relations. Um, I understand that uh, many people from going to join PR will think that oh, PR is going to be all about events and stuff. But uh, that, that's not that's not that's not necessarily true. Uh, going to be in PR, you're going to be engaged in writing. You're going to be engaged in uh, media relations. So these are also the key uh, key things which you're going to be doing in a PR agency. Okay. Uh, I guess um, being in communication itself, I cannot not stress the importance of communication. Uh, mastery over language is very much important in the communication field. Uh, the other thing I would like to add is never be constrained to what you know. Always be in search for new information and learn new things. Why? Well, being in an agency, you are going to be exposed to industries you were previously not aware of and chances are you may not even be interested in the industry uh, but you don't have a choice. Why? Because it pays your bills. Okay? So, well, unless you have the option of opting out of handling that particular client or that particular industry, you guys should start reading up. But read up what you may ask. Uh, read up on companies you are interested in, their products, their offerings, uh, their competitors, who are their competitors, uh, competitors' direction, and uh, also what are the industry trends because that will actually greatly help you understand the industry and your client better. Well, I guess the only constant here is change, so adaptability is the key moving forward. Um, yeah, you have to be adaptable. Uh, uh, honestly, no one was expecting a pandemic, so to let alone in 2020. So, I'm not sure about you, but I was expecting flying cars. But unfortunately, uh, not only are flying cars not taking off, many other things are not taking off this year. Um, but it is during such circumstances such as this where we are actually forced to adapt. What we previously knew may not necessarily be the only approach to things. Adapt to the new norm. Uh, what may work for one may not mean it will also work for the other. Learn to adapt and you know it, it will greatly uh, impact you and the industry and your clients. Yeah.